Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. I am finally back from my trip uh, to Florida for my bachelorette. So I am back to work, back to reality. Got lots of stuff to do today. I have spent majority of my morning ordering last minute things for the wedding, uh, last minute like groomsmen gifts, and also talking to my friends bridal party about ordering stuff for her bachelorette. So I've kind of just been doing a bunch of wedding things, uploading a vlog right now, and that's it. But I just got myself somewhat ready. I'm gonna go run some errands. Before I do, um, I do want to share a sponsor with you guys today. They are sponsoring this video. It is the game Lost Island. I have no joke become obsessed with this game. I pretty much play it almost every single night and when I was traveling on the plane, I played it all through like the plane ride home. I heard a lot of YouTubers talking about this game and it's super fun. It reminds me a lot of other like puzzle games that I have played, but it's really cool because you not only get to play like the puzzle games, but you also get to like revamp the whole island and make it your own and get to like decorate it and stuff. It's really, really cool. So this is my island and I've been decorating it my own way. I have like a sort of tiki bar here and a pool. Here we have the beach. So I've kind of been like unlocking different areas and now I'm over here. So I've made this whole area decorated that and I am now over here. I'm up to level 114 and you basically just play the puzzle games in order to get points to decorate and revamp your island. You have to just match up all of the colors and get your goals over here. Once you have completed a level, you'll have stuff over here that you need to do. So order the lighthouse repair materials. I will need two stars to do that. So I need to complete more levels in order to um, decorate my island. So I can do this one because this requires only one star. So I will get that done and see all these clouds. These are areas that are not um, unlocked yet. So, and it goes through a really nice storyline. So it's kind of fun to read. Just be a few levels of the puzzle games. And I now have five stars to do some things on the island. So I want to show you guys what that looks like. Now it is telling me to explore the lighthouse and I'm going to dig up treasure. Open the chest. The more levels you beat, the more uh, stars you get to do things and find things on the island. So I got a warm crystal. And... Ooh, I got a reward. I actually find things on the island, too. Um, this is my inventory. So I have a bunch of stuff that I've found through all the levels. I'm not kidding when I say that I'm like obsessed with it. I play it every single night before bed. Usually when I'm like sitting in bed and trying to relax, I will play the game. You can download Lost Island right now for free using the link in the description box to support my channel and you get seven lives and 700 points to use when you begin. You actually get more lives when you beat harder levels and more uh, coins by using boosters. So if the game is a little bit hard for you, you can buy boosters and it gives you more points to do things on the island. I am that type of person that's always looking for new games to play on my phone because sometimes I just need a break from social media and I just want to play a game. Whether I'm traveling or just laying in bed at night and not wanting to, you know, scroll through Instagram, I will usually play a game. If I'm not wrong, I could be on like chapter three or four of the game. So I've been playing for a while now and it's super fun. Thank you Lost Island for sponsoring this video. Now let's move on to the rest of the vlog. I am gonna go run some errands. I'm gonna probably go get a salad from Honey Grow again because I just love them so much. And I do need to stop at Home Goods. I need to start getting some frames for some things for the wedding. We're gonna need pictures of us and then also um, some frames for other things that I need to do. My mom actually started making the welcome bags, which is great. So. 
we have those pretty much prepared. I just ordered a few last things on Amazon. Also, this week we need to go get our marriage license and I don't know what day we're gonna do that. Possibly Friday. It is Tuesday today, yesterday. I honestly spent majority of my day editing and on the computer catching up with emails. It's just so much stuff. You know, when you get back from vacation, it's, it's like, like you're just in full force, like work mode. So I've just been attached to my computer, but I need to run a few errands. So you can come along with me. I'm gonna go get lunch. I am starving right now, but first I wanna grab um, some lemon water. I'm gonna probably make a cup of lemon water in my Yeti. This is, yes, so just wipe it on the ticket. No? Okay, man. We'll find it in the walk-in. Here's your spinach right here. We're gonna go check the walk-in. So, Rob, I got you a 2.5, right? Like I like when you drive like this, we'll put down the next one. Okay, so we're gonna go Alright, so I'm at my parents now. We are getting our welcome bags together and we have a bunch of stuff for the wedding laid out. Like craziness going on right now. <laughs> um, we also put together these for the bathrooms. We still need to get a few more things. Um, I want to get like some big bottles of hairspray and lotion and a bunch of stuff but we're doing his and hers or his and hers <laughs> um, baskets for the bathrooms for the wedding so just little kits we put together of you know a bunch of things that someone might need when they're in the bathroom of course there's probably more girl stuff but yeah so we have those put together and then we're gonna write his and hers on here um i started i started to put together our um bridal party things i'm actually still waiting for one more thing to come in the mail they have their shoes as well, which I showed you guys are from uh, Badgley Mishka. The shoes are from them. Um, and then we also have our glasses. I feel like I've showed you guys a lot of these things. But um, we have our champagne flutes as well that have all of our names and rose gold on them. And I'm kind of just lining things up. Is which are the petals, which we literally ran out of all the petals. We had 500 and there's barely any in here, so I had to order more. Um, yeah, and now we're gonna start on the welcome bags. So these are what the welcome bags look like. I got these labels on Etsy. Um, I actually, it was a digital download and then we printed them out on these stickers, so. They just have a little, you know, note on them. And then we got Gatorades, water, um, some bars, some peanut butter crackers, just something that like they might need, you know, with hangovers or whatnot, or if they're hungry before the wedding. And then we also have these Advils and I'm ordering in bulk um, chapsticks. So just a few things we want to give as little goodies for the rooms. These are a lot of the things that we don't show. <laughs> All of these things that we don't show, you know, like, oh, yeah. this is like, you know, a lot of the detailed work of, you know, a, a month away. Yeah. Oh, and mints, too. I want to throw some mints in there since we have so many. Um, we got so many bags. No. Also, with these bars, are we just doing random? So... Or are we doing a couple? Yeah, whatever you, you know. I think it's fine. Hello, guys. So, I am currently at my hopefully last fitting. This is my third dress fitting for the wedding. You guys know, if you've watched some of the previous vlogs, I haven't had the best experience with my fittings. They've just been really stressful, and I'm hoping that this is the last one, so... I'm really nervous. I'm actually coming by myself this time. I don't know. Maybe it'll make a difference. Maybe I felt like really under pressure last time. I don't know. So I'm here by myself. It is two o'clock. I'm gonna go in. First I'm gonna go to the bathroom and empty my stomach. My last fitting was a success. Thank the Lord. I was literally praying 
on my way <clears throat> going there you guys know my anxiety has been like through the roof and really just wanted to focus on the wedding and focus on the reason why we are getting married and it should be a happy time it should be such an exciting time I feel like I have makeup on my shirt so I'm trying to cover it up because when I was changing it should be an exciting time and I've had you know a panic attack recently which is just like so scary and probably one of the worst feelings ever if you have anxiety and depression you know what I'm talking about I talked about this in like one of the previous vlogs when I went away to Florida I had such a great time and I really tried to like stay off of social media and just like soak in some relaxation um, we are now counting down the days and we are like in the finish line right now with the wedding my dress fitting went really well I'm so happy that it did and I just I felt like a bride I felt happy I felt good in it and I know the last time that I went I just did not feel good at all um, she made some adjustments and we're good like it is it's official it's it's there and ready for me to pick up uh, the week of the wedding so I'm so glad that it finally went well and I just stopped at fruit bowl and I got myself a um, bowl and a toast I got like a brie a brie and fig toast with basil was really good and I got a fruit bowl as well I honestly haven't eaten much all day besides a banana so because <clears throat> I really wanted not to like overeat since my dress fitting was at 2 it wasn't too bad because actually it would have been like at 5 o'clock but I feel like with it being that late and like having a big meal I didn't want to be bloated you know so me and Anthony are going to meet up at the mall we have some last minute uh, gifts to get for the family for our parents so I am gonna head over there now because it's like 3 30 ish by the time he is um, getting out of work he will most likely be done so we're gonna meet over there uh, I'm not really sure what we plan on doing tonight all I know is that I think our friends want to get together Anthony actually is gonna be leaving tomorrow to go away for his friends bachelor party uh, he is the best man in our other friends wedding they're actually just gonna go up to the mountains um, and I think they're gonna go skiing which should be fun, but there is gonna be a huge snowstorm this weekend. So I think they're only gonna go up for like one night and stay for like just the next day because it's gonna snow pretty bad and they don't wanna be caught in any weather or anything. We're gonna go get our marriage license tomorrow. We do need a witness, so I think my dad's gonna go with us. We're gonna probably go in the morning. I have to do someone's hair at night. And then Saturday, I am just gonna get some things done for the wedding. I have a bunch of stuff to bring over my parents my parents again. There's a bunch of stuff getting delivered today that we need to bring over to my parents. Um, gathering the last few things for our groomsmen and bridesmaids and family. So we also contacted the shuttle service because we, we needed to know when to tell guests to be ready for the shuttle. So we wanted to attach something to each of the welcome bags for like the shuttle times. Um, yeah, this is all just like very, I mean, not last minute. I, we're, we're about two, two and a half, like, you know, three weeks out, but this is a lot of stuff that I don't want to worry about the week of the wedding and the week before the wedding. So I don't want to have to worry about this stuff. You know, when it gets closer to the date, I want to just be like in relax mode, which I know is probably not even going to be possible. I do need to get a bunch of things hemmed um, and altered because I have like some cute outfits for our honeymoon, like dresses and stuff, but they're all big. Like they're all like super long and some of my pants are really like long and need to be hemmed. So I might do that. I just need to figure out my makeup. I really, really wanted to do a video on my main channel of like a makeup trial with myself, <laughs> uh, trying out some makeup looks. And I think I want to do something a little bit more like sparkly. I always thought I would want to do like an all matte look, but we just got pictures done for um, a family photo shoot and I really did like a matte look and I liked it, but I feel like I need a little bit more with my dress. I feel like I want something light on the lid and something like something to smoke it out nothing too smoky I don't want it to be like really dark but I definitely I kind of like the way I did my makeup today which I just roughly did it and 
um, you know, it's just lighter on the eyes and like warm tones with some like darker browns. I, I'm sorry, I'm like, I'm talking so much about just everything that we have to do. I'm like all over the place. Um, it's just a lot. And I think I'm probably gonna take a little bit of a break from the videos. I know I say that, but then I'm probably gonna go to like grab my camera, you know, in a few days. But I just honestly feel like social media and YouTube has just been really like affecting my like overall like mental health and just like my mindset and I was literally like crying on my way over to my fitting in a good way. Um, I was crying listening to the song that I'm dancing with my dad to and I, I'm getting excited. I am, I'm feeling better about it. I need to listen to everyone that says to not stress and that all the little things mean nothing in the end because the day ends up being perfect anyway and you know <clears throat> the guests are never gonna know all the things that possibly might go wrong you know it is just it's supposed to be us celebrating our relationship and you know I need to just remind myself of that so I've really just been trying to soak this all in and make it an exciting time for us. And I feel like I'm starting to do that. Ever since I got back from my bachelorette, I've just been feeling some type of way, like, why am I stressing myself out so much? Why am I tearing myself down? Why am I being so hard on myself, you know? You just, and I look at like other people and the things that they're going through, like even close friends of mine and family friends that are going through such hard times right now like the little things that I am getting upset about or stressing about mean nothing compared to other people that are going through way, way worse. And sometimes you just need to be reminded of that. You know, we get so caught up in life and the struggles of life and I'm feeling a lot better. Um, I, I really do think I need some space though from YouTube and I feel like I need some time just to really focus on the wedding. I know things are gonna get really stressful the week of. I know once Bella gets here, I'm gonna be running around doing all these things, but um, you know, I just have to remind myself, just take it day by day and it's all gonna be amazing in the end. So we are looking for some things for our family as far as gifts for the wedding. I do have some things ordered, but um, we're gonna see what we can find at the mall and I honestly don't know where to get Bella's shoes, but she's gonna need shoes to wear for the wedding too. So I need to find some shoes for her. And her little fur um, jacket came in. It's kind of like a cropped, like, it's like a long sleeve, like fur jacket. I wanted to get her that instead of like a shawl just because I want her to be warm. She's not used to this weather, so it's always freezing for her which it's freezing for us too, but you know, I don't know how February weather is gonna be, so. I can't wait to show you guys her dress. It's so, so cute. I found um, a website online and I decided to order from there. I actually still have to return the other dress because I had to order in two sizes because the size that I ordered for her didn't fit her, so I had to order two sizes smaller because she's so tiny, but I'm gonna head to the mall and I'll meet Anthony there. Hopefully we can get some shopping done and then I think we might meet up with our friends um, and go out to dinner or something. So I will catch up with you guys in a little bit. Oh. 